If you've been online at all, you've probably heard of Mr. Beast. And if you go on any food delivery app, you probably have a Mr. Beast burger location close to you. But if you look up the address of your local Mr. Beast burger, you're fairly likely to find one popular restaurant chain that's actually making the food. So who's really behind Mr. Beast Burger? In case you somehow haven't heard of Mr. Beast Burger, here's a 10 second rundown. YouTuber Mr. Beast announced the fast food restaurant Mr. Beast Burger in late 2020, initially having 300 restaurants on delivery apps only. It's since expanded to over 1,700 locations, currently in four countries, and has hit over $1 million in sales. You might be thinking, how is Mr. Beast able to launch 300 restaurants on day one? This is where our friends over at Buca de Beppo come in. See, Mr. Beast realizing the increasing popularity of food delivery apps, wanted to capitalize on this phenomenon known as ghost kitchens, which despite the ghastly name, simply means restaurants that don't have a dining area and operate exclusively through delivery online. But it would be a daunting task for Mr. Beast to independently find and screen 300 worthy restaurants throughout the US to run ghost kitchens in. So he partnered with a company called Virtual Dining Concepts. Virtual Dining Concepts just so happens to be owned by Robert Earl, the founder of Planet Hollywood and the man behind Earl Enterprise which operates Bravo Italian Kitchen, Brio Italian Grill, Bertucci's Brick Oven Pizza, and Buca di Beppo. Out of the initial 300 Mr. Beast Burger locations, over 150 of them were operated through these four restaurants. Obviously, having a partner with years of experience in the restaurant industry and physical restaurant locations helps out quite a bit with things like quality control and scaling the business quickly. But that's not to say the launch of Mr. Beast Burger went without its fair number of quality control issues. Whoa. See, Virtual Dining Concepts also licenses Mr. Beast Burger to ghost kitchens and companies around the world. And while there is a vetting process, it's hard to maintain quality standards at restaurant properties that Virtual Dining Concepts doesn't own. Each ghost Ghost Kitchen does work off of a standardized Mr. Beast Burger menu, but the ingredients like beef, for instance, that goes into the items can vary dramatically. It does seem that since the launch, quality control of these ghost kitchens has been made more of a priority. And with Mr. Beast opening his first physical location, it's safe to assume there's gonna be a lot more Mr. Beast Burger brick and mortar stores very soon. So yeah, at least for now, it seems your Mr. Beast Burger is probably coming from an American Italian restaurant or a hotel or a bar or a Barnes and Noble parking lot, you get the point. Hey, thanks for watching to the end. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like down there and subscribe. And let me know, do you know where your local Mr. Beast Burger comes from?